Hello, welcome back. For those that are still uh, riding with me, I guess. Um, sorry for the rambling in the previous video. So I meant to do the uh, new moon in Gemini reading, a love reading for single and partnered um, people out there. So I separated into two. So you can take whatever line resonates for you. So it's not meant to be for your partner or meant to be to, for you. It's whoever resonates with whatever line and you may resonate with both energies so let's start with this first energy we have the five of staffs or five of five of wands <clears throat> this card to me it's always about some type of going against the flow it's like an ego's fight to control things so this energy is trying to control how things are and how things go and it's almost like an internal fight within themselves it could be a fight between um, two others or just with others in general um, but it is a fight there is some control some pushing um, in this it's almost like because there's one person in the back, but they're not actually a part of the fight. It's like they're standing back. This could be um, like your higher self is watching you battle it out with someone else. It's like they're in the background watching this going on or, you know, it's, it's a fight with you and your partner or a person that you're interested in or you're involved with. It's like not a fight like an argument but it's like this fight between you like ego fight like I want to control this no I want to control how things go so I'm not going to do this and well I'm not going to do this either it's like you guys are fighting against the flow of how things are supposed to go and you're really fighting your own selves at the end of the day and it's like spirit is on like looking there's a third energy that's watching this occur Okay, so for the other energy, the Queen of Arrows. So it's like they have a high perspective. They, they're they changing their perspective. Um, but for whatever reason, because they feel like maybe they have all of the information or that their perspective, like they're at a high, um, like a high understanding or they have an idea of something. It's like a change in perspective, like a rebirth is happening. Um, and they feel, like I said, this ego fight, they feel like the other person, it's Prince of Errors in reverse, that they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like, they feel like they know what they're supposed to be doing, but they're not moving. They're not charging forward as the Prince or the Knight of Arrows would typically do charge forward with what they know, their messengers. But in this case, they're not moving. They don't, they're not doing what they know they should be doing. That's how this person is perceiving things. The other person here is like, they feel like all is lost. Like there's two sides of the story. So it's like this equal fight going on. There's a control. They're trying to control the situation. You're trying to control the situation. And it's leaving them like in this pessimistic um, energy, like heart wrenching, like there's nothing goes right or nothing will go right. And they're not seeing that the relationship or the connection still stands where it's at. It's not tipped over. Like, they're looking back in the past almost as well. Like, they feel like if they put up this fight and try to control what they know or what they feel they should be doing or going with the flow of things, that it's just going to end up like the past. Like, things are just going to be spilt over. It's not going to go well. And not even seeing that the connection still stands. So that's just what they're feeling. Um, there will be some sort of justice on your behalf. Like you've said all you could say. You've done all you could do. All you could do is focus on your own self. I feel like she's working. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. Um, there's like this mail behind on the wall or on the flag. So it's like she's put this connection in the back burner and focusing on, focusing on themselves because they did what they're supposed to do. So it's like just waiting for your payout or your karma to be weighed accordingly, according to justice. So you're really just waiting by focusing on yourself. You're not sitting around and, and not doing anything, just focusing on the other person. You put them on the back burner and you decided to move forward and focus on your own self. 
So you've done what you were supposed to do. The Seven of Cups, the other energy, they're in this fantasy again. They have some good thoughts and some bad thoughts. Like I said, they're dealing with the past. They're thinking that things are going to pan out the way they've always pan out or they're always going to be the same thing. Um, so there is some good thoughts. They will think some good things. They'll fantasize um, about certain things, but then they'll go back and say, well, I don't know about that because look what happened to me in the past. So what if this happens? This is them playing different scenarios in their head, like good scenarios. Then they'll play a bad one. Then they'll go back and say, well, you know, I do hope for this. I do wish for this. Then they'll say again, well, no, because that's stupid. What if this happens again? You know, it's that back and forthness that they're going through. Here, the Queen of Cups in reverse is you're not being forthcoming with how you feel. You're, you're, you're putting this person on the back burner only because you don't want to deal with your emotions right now. And it's almost like you're not listening to your intuition. So you're, um, you're being a little bit stubborn. You're not dealing with your emotions head on. You're not honoring your feelings. You're not trusting your intuition right now. For the other party, they're they're where they're at. They're not going anywhere. They, they still have the coin in their hand. They still see the value within the connection or within you. They're just they're just standing still for whatever reason. Like they're waiting for something. They're waiting. And it could even be waiting for you to say something, or if you feel this, the other party, this is you waiting for them to say something. But they're blocking out their feelings for you, or you're blocking out your feelings for them, therefore you're not following your intuition. You have the cup, you have the offer in your hand to offer some sort of love, some support, whatever it is, but you refuse to do it, or they refuse to do it, whoever this energy resonates with. So the overall energy for each person. So for the first energy, we have 50, the angel of strength. So they're, they're, they're moving forward no matter how hard it is because you see that they're going through some battles. Not just, um, or you, whoever this person, whoever resonates with us. This person is going forth regardless of what's come up against them they're still moving forward they're still charging forward they're not giving up and it's because they sense that maybe there's a change that will happen so they have some sort of faith and hope their courage um 50 number five always represents divine life changes or a major shift so you know you're you're keeping forward because you know that this is not where it's going to stay it's this energy is not meant to stay this way like you see that there is possibilities, but you keep bringing the past into it or you're, you're comparing how things might play out because of your past. And you're creating these false realities instead of what you desire, these good things, instead of you're seeing things as sneaky or, you know, you're not like you feel like you don't know everything or you don't have all of the information. Things are hidden from you and it creates this fear. And also, it could be a fear to move. Like, you have the coin in your hand. Who's to say that this person isn't supposed to come forward with something or some sort of offer, but they're choosing to stand in the background because they feel they don't have enough information? Like, you see how these trees are dry. They don't have any leaves on them. To me, that's like wisdom that's not there. Like, they're still trying to gain wisdom or they don't feel like they have enough wisdom. So maybe they're deciding not to move forward. And this other person here is not trusting their information, their feelings, or what they're feeling, their gut is telling them. Because really, the overall energy is for them to take action. They are to move forward. And I also feel that you or this person is moving forward and that the other person will follow um, their lead. So this is a new beginning. So this could be you guys moving on together. It's very much a grounded scenery. They're in the grass. There's lots of green. So in the matters of the heart, you're choosing to move forward together. I feel like the other person is following. They're not far behind you. They're following your lead or you're following their lead. This is a grounded situation. So one is new beginnings. It's also awareness, illumination. Number seven is of some sort of divinity. Um, to me, it represents divinity. And eight vibrates abundance, karmic. 
um, just like justice. There's like some justice will be served. Like you're not really worried about it. It could be that you're not worried at all about how things are going to pan out or you're just choosing to focus elsewhere and you're just waiting for things to be weighed accordingly. But as long as you both move forward, I feel like it will be an abundant situation. Um, it's like a continuation, like you'll decide to continue whatever your relationship is. You'll decide to move forward regardless of um, this conflict, this ego fight, this stubbornness that I get from this energy because it's five. So it's going to change. This energy is going to change. I feel like... Again, five here. So these emotions are going to change. They're going to dissipate. They're going to leave. So that's why this person has hope. They're still moving forward with courage and unrelenting courage. And this person, um, even though I feel a little bit of stubbornness here because they feel like they've done what they needed to do, they said what they needed to say, or they know, or they have a better perspective or changing perspective, but they feel like this person, or maybe they're not being um, stubborn or egotistical maybe they are right because this person is not able to move on what they know they need to do is because they're fighting within themselves and they're struggling within their mind their fantasies they don't all line up their desires are different in their mind and they need to get clear but nonetheless they're still here they still want to move forward so um i hope that this resonates or this was helpful for you i know it's kind of sporadic um, but I hope that it did resonate either, either line, what either energy resonates with you. Um, so I send you guys a lot of love and I wish you a happy new moon and that you set all of your intentions and you release things of the past and you move forward, uh, ready for transformation and change. All right. Bye-bye.